Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter, and I've got a very sweet unboxing today, today, today. All right, so let's jump right into it. Ooh. Yeah, Jolie thinks that's funny. Okay, so we got some bubble wrap in here, or those little bubble pockets, whatever they are. Um, and we have a diamond painting. Wow. How awesome is that? Pretty. I love the box. So here, Jolie, you want to play with the box? There you go. Have fun. Right? Kids always have fun with boxes. <laughs> okay. So this is a diamond painting that I got from Amazon. Prime, and it is, I'm a, I don't know how to say the name of this company, but I think it's either Caro or Caro, 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 I don't know, uh, diamond painting, so pretty nice box, I love that it's branded here, you know, and then on the back, it's got all the goodies that comes with it, um, talks about the, you know, like, uh, copyright, all of the designs have been created for their brand, um, strong adhesive, 30% extra diamonds, um, all the tools included. So let's take a look. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, um, Caro, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm sorry if that is wrong. Uh, sent me this canvas to show you guys. So, um, super excited to see what we got here. Okay, we have a toolkit that has a pink pen, a drill tray with a funnel, a big square of wax, and we have a bunch of baggies and then a little pair of um, angled bendy tweezers. Um, oh, sorry, baby. Watch out. And then the um, painting comes on a foam roller. We have an inventory. Well, I'm not sure if it's an inventory sheet or what, but we have a foam roller that I can beat my children over the head with. Here, Jolie, you want the foam roller? You want to beat somebody up with it? Maybe Poppy, I don't know. Um, let's see, this here, okay, we have a card. Um, it says, inspiration exists. It's a little thank you. Um, pretty neat little, I think it's, is that a sticker? I'm not sure. Um, and then this is an instruction sheet. Nice, it has, there you go, you want that? There you go, Sissy. Um, and then we have like an inventory sheet here on the side, which is great if you want to kit up and cut these out and use as labels for your storage container. And then we have our bag of diamonds. And let me roll this backwards because it is poured glue. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. The back of the canvas is very soft and like uh, fuzzy feeling, I guess. I like the canvas quality. It is surged and, and uh, what do you call that? Surged and scalloped on the edges to keep it from fraying. It has, I like, the canvas has a little bit of a glitter to it. Can you see that glittery, glittery? And, ah, nice. The glitter is in the actual canvas, too. Not sure if you can see that. Symbols look very clear. There's the um, logo. Here is the image. It's 30 by 40. And here's the actual image. So, you guys know that I really like feathers and you know that I really like this teal 
color. So I'm really excited about this. They have a massive color chart on both sides. Love that. Um, follow us on Instagram, Caro Diamond Painting. Send us an email. Um, and then down here, it says, or up here, it says, change the world one rhinestone at a time. <laughs> I like that. Really like it. So, um, I'm excited to start working on this. It is a square. It's very sticky. And like I said, the symbols are very, very clear. Even these dark symbols like here. Let me scoot you down so you can see. Even these dark symbols here um, have the white letter, the white symbol inside them. Um, some of them like these, I call those pills. I don't know what they actually are, but those are black which is okay because I can differentiate those between the others. Um, but yeah, all the symbols look really, really good. Typical symbols that you see. Um, Jolly, can you not play in the trash can? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, we have letters, numbers. This I call an antenna. <laughs> uh, horseshoe. Ooh, there's a clover. Um, Poppy. Jeez. And then we have a plus sign, an ampersand, arrow, and then this is like a U-turn. So, but the symbol quality is very good, or the symbol clarity, I should say. Okay, let's not beat and bang on things, please. Okay, so let's look at these diamonds really quickly. Excited. Poppy, can I have the ball, please? You can play with it whenever I am done. Just playing with a stupid tennis ball. Which is fine, but not while I'm recording. All right. So, like I said, this is the square. Uh, square diamond. Let's do these colors first. All right, DMC. We don't have, yeah, we do. We have the DMC here on the side. Oh, I see what it is. They're not numbered. I knew something was missing here on the um, color chart here. Normally, with a lot of diamond paintings, it'll have like, they'll have the, the symbol and then the DMC code, which is what this is here on the side. But then on the this side, they're usually numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down to however many colors is at the ball, you know, all the way down. And so it's missing the the um, sequence number. But that's okay because you can go by the symbol and by the DMC code, right? All right. So let me see. Looking at the square. Quality. They look pretty decent. Looks like there's a little bit of static. So let's run through the colors real quick. Uh, we have some 3846. We have some 3843. 3841, 3811, 3755, 3756, 3325. And then here we have some 996. We have some 995, 939. Um, I'm just looking, because sometimes you can tell the quality of the diamonds in the darker ones, just because, you know, they're more, um, I guess mass produced is the right word. Some 823, some 820, some 803. That 820 is like a royal purple, really pretty. Okay. 
Okay, and then we have some $7.99. I guess it would help to get it in the camera, right? Some $7.98, $7.97, $7.97, $7.99. Seven seventy-five, pretty mint green. Five nineteen, three forty, three thirty-four, three thirty-three, pretty. Three twelve, two eleven, two ten, two o nine, two o eight, and one fifty-five. Okay, so I'm just noticing this 333. There's a lot of 333 in the canvas that I'm currently working on from Diamond Art Club. So we have the 333 here, which is a pretty purple. The 333 here, and then this 333 from a canvas that I'm currently working on. And you can tell the difference in, see there's 333 and then 333. Um, they, these are from a Diamond Art Club, um, but you can tell the difference, right? I can totally tell the difference in the shade. Yeah. So I'm not sure which one is truer to the color. I don't know. All right. All right, all right, all right. So one thing to mention, there are no ABs in this kit. However... I think it would be really cool to maybe um, where you have the like white outline of the feather and some of these little swirls in between the, the lighter shade would be really pretty to put either like some sparklers or frost. Um, I have some original sparklers. I might try. Um, but anyway, yeah. Just an idea, but I really like everything about it so far. Of course, I haven't worked on it yet. So, I mean, you know, the true telltale is going to be when I've started working on it and when I finish. Um, I want to get working on it soon, but at the same time, huh, I got so many others that I feel like I have to do first, right? Anyways, I um, will keep you informed of of things once I start working on it. And, um, but my overall opinion to begin with, um, just by first impression is, yeah. See, that's, that's my first impression. Uh, but yeah, that's my first impression is big thumbs up so far. So, um, again, it is a square and, uh, the diamonds look pretty good. As long as we have no popping issues, um, should be good to go. I mean, they look really good. So, uh, yeah. All right. That's all for me. Uh, keep in mind, I got two diamond paintings from the same company. And I will be unboxing the other one separately on another video. So, um, that will be coming up soon. So, just keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you are uh, new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. To get notified the next time I upload another video. This kit will be in the description box below. Um, again, it came from Amazon. Cannot remember the price. Um, I'm thinking it was around 15-ish dollars. So, not too bad. Oh, one thing I did forget to do is measure. Let's see what the measurements is. Centimeters, because it's supposed to be 30 by 40. And this is 30 on the dot this way. So, I'm assuming it's going to be 40 on the dot this way. Uh, wait, let me do that again. There, and then here. Yeah, it's basically like right below 39, right at about 39. So, you know, one centimeter off, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, pretty much true to size. So another check in the box. All right. All right. That's what I got for you today. Guys, have a good day. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.